Hello and welcome. My name is Maria de Souza. I am a Feldenkrais and a yoga teacher and I focus my work on posture, not only because good posture looks good on us, make us feel elegant, but most importantly, good posture keeps pain away. Something that you might not realize is that the ailment or condition that you might be suffering with uh, is likely to be a result of uh, um, misalignments and um, imbalances that uh, we all create in the body as we go through life because no one ever taught us how to move efficiently in the way that keeps the spine safe in the way that doesn't cause so much strain and uh, um, wear and tear in the bones, in the, in the muscles, ligaments. So once you understand um, that um, you have misalignments uh, in the body um, and you start addressing those, that's when you're really going to um, see a shift in your health. And that is not only physically, but mentally as well because your body is connected to your mind and your mind is connected to your body. One, once uh, um, the body is healthy, mind can be healthy as well and vice versa. So my work is all about that, healing the body through addressing the misalignments um, in the body. So I do that mainly with the Feldenkrais method. Sometimes I bring yoga as well when it comes to breathing, uh, relaxation and um, other areas. But mainly I work with Feldenkrais. So I have many courses, digital courses to heal the body, to improve posture that you can have a look if you are interested interested in uh, well if you are serious about improving your health I'll leave the links below today I'm coming to you with a breathing exercise from the Feldenkrais method and uh, breathing well and breathing efficiently is very important for the functioning of the body, the functioning of the internal um, organs, for our well-being. When we have a shallow breathing, which most people do, that brings um, complications because when we have shallow breathing it means that we're not breathing enough that means that we are not bringing oxygen into the bloodstream um, as much as um, the body needs because we're breathing little okay so something else we are doing when we have a shallow uh, breathing and um, not breathing well is also um, we are not allowing the body to release toxins that releases through exhalation okay so this is why we breathe because the body needs um, oxygen that comes through inhalation that goes into the lungs and then is distributed into the the lungs um, since the um, oxygen into the blood uh, stream uh, so we breathe in oxygen and we exhale toxins okay so if we're not breathing in properly or efficiently we're starving the body from oxygen and if we're not releasing exhale or exhaling uh, efficiently then we are keeping the toxins in the body the waste which eventually leads to illnesses and um, conditions in, in the body so that's why it's important that we understand a little bit about breathing and that we pay attention to the way we're breathing and make an effort to breathe a little bit better um, the main part of breathing is the diaphragm the diaphragm lives below your lungs, so you have lungs in your chest um, in, and um, inside your rib basket, one lung in each side and below your lungs you have this muscle. So the diaphragm is a big muscle and it's shaped like a dome and it behaves like a um, 
a jellyfish. It moves up and down. So when we breathe in, the diaphragm moves up and down to allow air into the lungs. And then when we breathe out, the diaphragm helps the air to be pushed out into the world. Okay. So it's important that this muscle works um, efficiently, that it's free and um, flexible enough to do this movement that it needs to do to make us breathe better. So this exercise is all about the diaphragm. So this is what I'm going to bring to you today. And uh, it's a long lesson, a long exercise, so I'm uh, putting it in two videos, okay? Part one today, and then I'll bring part two. And if you want the full lesson, the full exercise in one video, then please, it's ready for you below. Click the link is there for you to have at hand. Uh, so you're going to need a couple of props. I have here, here what we call a yoga bolster that I did myself, but you can have two cushions or three cu or four cushions. Um, it's up to you. you. What you want to do is to have your knees drop to the side and the knees are well supported. Okay. If you don't have enough support, then we're going to be suffering a little bit here in your groin. So it's important that it's high enough to support your, your knees so that everything is comfortable here. In your groin okay and you um, I have a blanket for my head just um, to be a little bit more soft just for um, luxury just to feel a bit more soft uh, this is a quite relaxing exercise well we, you're going to work and sometimes can be quite challenging, but it's a quite relaxing exercise. So it's important that you are relaxed. Whatever support you have in your legs, make sure that you are relaxed, okay? You can do, do this in a bed, but if your um, mattress is too soft or it sinks in the middle, then it's not going to work very well because you need to feel the back of your body, okay? And if it's too soft underneath, you won't be able to feel it as much. Um, so, this is your organization, so make sure everything is comfortable. <sighs> and for the moment, you're not going to do very much, just take a moment to breathe normally. Pay attention to your breathing. How is it? Is it long? Is it short? Is it shallow? Is it quick? Is it fast? What movements you feel in your, in your torso? Do you feel more your belly than your chest? Your chest more than your belly? Just notice how your breathing feels. Bring your hands onto your belly. Maybe you can have another uh, that one hand on your ribs or the chest, whatever is comfortable. Make sure your elbows are nicely resting on the floor and not holding your arms. And just take a moment, just a minute, to notice your breathing, your normal breathing. Don't do anything special, just breathe and notice how is it. Relax your jaw. Close your eyes if that is comfortable and just enjoy lying on your back. Stay connected to yourself. Notice the movements of your hands. Pay attention to your breathing. Okay, from here, I want you to bring uh, the image of a balloon into your mind. And we're going to start the exercise here, okay? <clears throat> so as you breathe in, you're going to breathe in like as if you're inflating a balloon, okay? 
So as you breathe in, the air goes in all directions, up and down, sideways, back and front. That means that your chest is moving away from the spine and towards the ceiling and your back is moving away from the spine as well towards the floor. That includes your sacrum, includes your lower back. So breathe in, inflate all directions, up and down, back and front, sideways. So your ribs expand and, and fan out as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, you're going to sink. You have to have this, you're going to have this sensation of sinking or deflating, whatever works better for you. So breathe in, inflate, and as you breathe out, sink the torso. Okay, as you inflate, you're going to inflate the belly, the ribs, the chest, and as you deflate, you're going to deflate the chest, ribs and belly and squeeze the belly button in ever so slightly to expel the maximum of air out and for you to feel that sinking in your belly and carry on this way inflating as you breathe in and deflate or sinking as you breathe out so i'm going to use the word sinking from now on okay and carry on this way. So I want you to pay attention to the back of the body. So as you breathe in, the tendency here is to arch the lower back. You don't want to do that. You want to bring the air to the back of your body as much as you bring to the front. That means that the back of your body, the ribs, the lower back, the sacrum, gently presses against the floor. Can you feel that? If not, how can you make that happen? How can you bring your air, the air to the back of the body as much as you bring to the front? Relax your jaw, relax your shoulders. Carry on, inflating and sinking. Don't forget to squeeze the belly in ever so slightly. No force, no pushing, no nothing. Just easy, comfortable breathing. Of course, you're doing a little bit more of an effort now, but you're not stressing your breathing or the body, okay? So find the balance between doing too much and doing too little. Can you feel your sacrum gently pressing against the floor? Your sacrum is right at the end of your back. The back it's the back of your pelvis. And as you breathe in, imagine the air coming towards the top of your head. And as you breathe out, imagine the, the air coming towards your uh, pelvis and go out through your bottom. When you're sinking, the back of the body is still in contact with the floor. It will release a little bit, but it won't, it will not lift away from the floor. It is still in contact with the floor, um, including your lower back, including your sacrum. You probably feel, that's my experience with most people, um, that your um, back, the back of your body or your lower back wants to arch as you breathe in. So pay attention to that. So if you are inflating like a balloon, the lower back can't arch. 
right? That makes sense? Let me know below if it makes sense what I'm saying when you finish this. And carry on. I want to bring um, another analogy to you here. Uh, imagine a very slow, old uh, fashion lift. What does it do? It goes slowly up and up and up and up and up. And it goes slowly down and down and down and down. That's the way I'll invite you to breathe here. Slowly inflating, slowly deflating. Okay, it's not one sharp movement. It's many, 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 many millions of movements. Millions, you know what I mean. Inflating slowly and deflating slowly. Okay, so see how far you can go when you're inflating and how far you can go when you deflate. In other words, how much of your, um, the capacity of your lungs can you use? Okay? Without going to beyond your limits. We don't want you, I don't want you to be out of breath or stress your breathing or your body, okay? But I want you to make a a sensible effort to use as much of your um, lungs, the capacity of your lungs as possible. Again, find the balance between doing too little and doing too much. Pay attention to the back of your body. Relax your jaw. Okay, let that go. And breathe normally now, just to, for you to take a rest. If you want to switch the, uh, the hands over, you can. So that what the hand that was in the chest now goes to the belly and the other one goes to the chest or the, um, the ribs. Just breathe, just breathe normally for a few rounds. Okay, now go back to the same exercise, inflating as you breathe in and deflate as you breathe out. Keep in mind all the um, elements that we've been through, okay? The, um, the breath as you breathe in going towards the head and as you breathe out going towards the pelvis, the back of the body inflating, the front of the body moving away from the um, spine towards the, the ceiling and the back of the body moving away from the spine towards the, the floor. Keep all that in mind as you breathe in and out, stay connected to yourself. Actually, here, I want you to bring one of your hands to your breastbone. So your breastbone is in the middle of your breasts, in the middle of your chest. Bring your hand there and as you breathe in, can you feel it moving? It's not a big movement. It's a settled, um, a, um, settled? It's not a word I want to use. I forgot the word. Um, it's a small movement. So inflate, as you inflate, notice that bone moving and as you deflate, you exhale, notice as well, moving towards your spine. Can you feel that? Let me know below, please. See 
subtle. That's the word I was looking for before. Subtle is a very subtle, subtle movement. But your chest, your ribs, your breastbone moves. Your collarbones. It all is all designed to move. Nothing is fixed. But of course, <clears throat> excuse me. As we go through life, we fix stuff because we think you're not supposed to move the chest or the ribs or the pelvis and we we start moving like robots everything is allowed to move everything is designed to move and when it moves we are healthy and when we not moving these parts of the body we get um, stuck and injuries arrive and all kinds of conditions and ailments And after you had a good feeling for your breastbone move, you can bring your hand to wherever it was before. And now I want you to carry it moving this way, inflating and deflating. Carry on moving this way. And I want to introduce you to one more thing. I want you to introduce you to the poses of the breath. So as you breathe in at the end of in the inhalation, can you notice that there is a pose? It's just a second or so. And then at the end of the exhalation, there's another pose. Can you notice that? Can you feel that? Are those poses there? Well, they must be, okay? It's not that uh, they aren't there bring your attention to those poses how long did you pose for let me know below and you pose a little bit longer at the pose at the end of the inhalation or at the end of the exhalation let me know below please Relax your jaw. What happens if you make an effort to stay in those poses a little bit longer? I'm not asking you to hold your breath, okay? I'm asking you to pose, to see if you can pose a second more, a second longer. How does it feel? Does it feel peaceful, blissful? How long can you stay without holding the breath, without stressing the breath? Carry on with this move. Remember that you're doing a little bit of an effort now to use the full capacity of your lungs. So you're not breathing normally. Not This is not your usual breathing, okay? So you're breathing a little bit better, a little bit more efficiently. So you breathe, inflate, 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 and deflate, 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 okay? So it's you using more of your lungs than usual. So make sure you don't fall into breathing, um, your normal breathing, okay? Here we are working towards a better, a more efficient, a more longer and deeper breathing and slower breathing. So you need to make an um, extra effort to do that, okay? Keep paying attention to the back of your body, pressing against the floor gently and as you breathe in and as you breathe out, the, the back of the body is still in, in, in contact with the floor. It releases a, a little bit, but it doesn't lift away. So your lower back doesn't lift. I know the tendency here is to lift. When you breathe in, is to lift. 
uh, pay attention to that, make sure that is not happening. As you breathe in, the air comes towards the top of your head. As you breathe out, the air goes towards your pelvis and out through your bottom. Okay, and let go and rest. Just breathe normally. Notice your breathing, your normal breathing now. Does it feel different? Okay, from now on, eh, you might find things a little bit challenging. Do what you can. You, we're going to uh, hold the breath a few times through the exercise, but you need to pay attention how that feels for you and only hold the breath for as long as it is comfortable for, for you. Okay, so don't go beyond your limits. Respect your lim limits and make uh, the exercise easy for you. Again, find the balance between doing too much and doing too little. Okay, so I'm going to explain this first exercise where we hold the breath. Uh, so breathe normally while I explain. So what you're going to do, you're going to breathe in, not the full um, breath, um, just breathe in normally. And then you're going to hold the breath. And then what you're going to do, you're going to do the same movements that you've been doing uh, with the breath. We're going to do that without breathing in and breathing out. Okay, so you're going to sink and inflate and sink and inflating while you hold the breath. Okay, so you're no longer doing that movement with your breathing because you're holding the breath. Okay, so you need to make a extra F effort with your torso to bring that sensation of um, sinking and expanding sensation and to bring that movement in the torso. So you need to use um, more, um, use your muscles in, in a different way so that you can bring that movement of uh, sinking and inflating without using the breathing. Okay, so I know it sounds a little bit um, complicated, do what you can. Okay, and again, I can't emphasize this more, you're going to hold the breath, but only hold it uh, to a point that it is comfortable. Whenever you need to breathe in and out again, please do. Don't wait for me to tell you to do that. Okay, so let's breathe in normally and then hold the breath. And now see how you can sink the body, sink the chest and the belly, and then expand the belly and the chest. Remember the tendency here is to lift the lower back. You don't want to do that. And then sink, and then inflate, and so on. Breathe in and out whenever you need. Take a rest whenever you need, and then come back to the, to the exercise, okay? So I'm doing it with you. So the tendency here again is that when you breathe in, you want to, um, at least that's what I feel in myself and most people that I do this with, the tendency is to lift the lower back, is to uh, arch the lower back as you inflate. Okay, you pay attention to that. That's not what you want to do because if you are inflating a balloon, then the back has to go against the floor. Okay? So notice that movement, okay? It's not easy, it's quite challenging, do what you can. Take your time, carry on with the movement. Take breaks, as many breaks as you need.
A few more rounds. Carry on. This time you might even feel your shoulder blades pressing against the floor. Notice that. You can use your hands to help you to sink. Okay, let that go and just breathe normally. Just notice how your breathing is now. Okay, and this is the end of part one. As I said, if you want all in one video, have a look below. I've got the link for you. Uh, there with all this exercise in one video and just take a moment to rest let everything go and notice where you how your breathing is now comparing to the very beginning of this exercise mm, let me know below what was your experience uh, if you have questions okay and then you can stay there relaxing i'm going to finish this video here so next week i'll bring part two um, have a look at my digital courses if you want to heal your body if you want to improve your posture the links are below and um, if this video of was of value to you give me the thumbs up and distribute it within your tribe and um, i'll see you at the next video bye bye now <laughs>